Today's CG broadcast brings you a preview of the upcoming track season and look to what to do this month in Greenwood in a special holiday video. Hey CG, today is Thursday, April 12th, 2018. I'm Abigail. And I'm Cole. And we have your CGTV broadcast brought to you by Mount Pleasant Christian Church. Even though it might not look like it, spring is upon us, and with that comes the start of spring sports. Madison Snyder went to the first outdoor track meet on Tuesday and brings you a story about the team. The track team has been faced with bad weather throughout the season. Today they talk about their goals, obstacles, and how the weather affects them. Well, I haven't really got to run any outdoor meets lately because all of our meets have been canceled, so it's kind of affecting how I'm doing a little bit because I haven't been able to practice hurdles at all. My main ob obstacle this year is going to be my finishing kick in a race. Uh, my last 200 in a race has always been kind of faulty, but I'm always working that, working on that, and I'm working to get better. Um, but as a team, I think it's going to be um, trying to find guys that are going to be fresh for later events in the meet so that we can score as many points at these later meets in the season. All student athletes face mental and physical blocks. Two athletes share theirs. Uh, the wet, it's been really cold this season, so we had to do a lot of stuff inside, but not too much. I suppose this year, um, I want to say, like, just for me personally, it's just um, staying, like, with the competition and not underestimating anyone. And definitely, like, my starts. My starts have to get a lot better in order for me to run a lot faster. Goals are a necessity all athletes need. Julia Falcone and Sebastian Martin share theirs. My main goal for this season is to drop time from last season and PR in the 800. We're definitely trying to uh, to make it through the regional to state this year. We've got a couple guys who can make it through an individual, um, but our 4 by 8 teams where we're usually the strongest, so we're going in that. Come support your girls track team at HSC and the boys track team at Ben Davis Relays. Thanks, Madison. Along the spring sports, there are a number of community events this spring. The Anna Square and Miana Pace have this list. Hope you enjoyed your spring break, CG. As the season continues, so does many events located here in Greenwood. To kick off our April events, there will be a screening of the movie Napoleon Dynamite this week on the 13th and the 14th at 7.30 p.m. at the Artcraft Theater located in Franklin. Prices range from $3.25 to $5.25. On April 15th, the Greenwood City Band is kicking off their 25th season with a concert and canned food drive at Greenwood High School. A wide range of well-rehearsed concert band arrangements will be performed. The event ranges from 7 to 9 p.m. and admission is free. Though donations of cans for the Salvation Army are appreciated. Please enjoy listening to music and giving back to your community. On April 21st, here at CGHS, Rock the Block will be hosted starting at 8 a.m. and ending at 12 p.m. You can register to run a 10K at 8.35 a.m. and or the 5K at 9 a.m. Last but certainly not least, on April 19th, Ake Abusive Choices Hurt Everyone will be hosted by both SAD and Key Club. All are welcome. And those are your April events, CG. See you next month. Sunday is Take a Wild Guest Day, a national holiday observed every April 15th. Maddie Heineman and Jaden Reeves have a special video to honor this holiday. Upcoming Sunday, April 15th, is National Wild Guest Day. This national day gave us the perfect opportunity to ask students here at Center Grove random trivia to see if they could guess the answer. What is a group of unicorns called? <laughs> a flock. That's a good one. Unicorn eye. <laughs> a blessing. A unigroup? Um, a herd. <laughs> a group of unicorns. A blessing. How many years old is the oldest piece of chewing gum? 400. A couple thousand. How old it is? 300 years. 28. 9,000 years old. Where is a shrimp's heart located? In its butt. <laughs> In its brain. In its leg. Right here. Its head. Its right shoulder. In its stomach. In its head. You're right, in its head. Does the sun orbit around the earth? 
No. 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 Wait. No. 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 Correct. <laughs> what is the most common first name? Jim. Ethan. Abby. John. Josh. John. Sam. Ethan. Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> what soda was originally green? Coke. Sprite. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Fanta. I'd say Sprite, but it's not green, it's clear. Coca-Cola. <laughs> what is the only food that does not spoil? <laughs> Eggs. No, they do. Oats. Rice. Water. Crackers. Water. Rice. Honey. What non-animal kills as many humans as sharks do? Food poisoning. Plants. <laughs> Whales. Vending machines. Vending machines. There? An animal? Yes. Vending machines! Correct. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, while you're taking wild guesses, the robotics team will be competing at state. Car Foreman has a story. The robotics team will be competing at the first FRC State Robotics Tournament this weekend. A group of 34 students will travel to Kokomo, including a number of student leaders. I'm the engineering captain, which essentially means that I'm in charge of making sure that everything, the robot actually gets built and that it is functioning properly. So I am actually the executive team captain, um, so basically I oversee a lot of the operations that go on the team, whether it be on the engineering side of the team or on our, uh, what we call the operations side of the team, um, which is like all of our outreach events and everything that we do to reach out to our community. Well, I'm the main driver on the team, and as well as a little bit of programming and mechanical stuff. To prepare for state, the team is perfecting their presentation and working on the robot. Um, our robot was broken a lot because it's been hit by other robots and it's taken some damage. So we're actually gonna fix it, we're gonna repair some parts and replace some parts, and that's essentially all we have to do. And then we need to reprogram some of this stuff in order to make sure that works for next competition. Um, personally, I am trying to make sure that I have a plan so that way I can help keep the team um, functioning and that we don't ever get too stressed out in different situations. I'm also helping make sure that we have all of the documentation and everything that we need for competitions for when judges come by to talk to us and ask us how we got to where we were on the robot or how we keep track of everything that we do for the community. Some damage got done to my system on the robot as well, remaking parts, and then I'm working on driving the robot as much as I can. At last week's District Tippecanoe competition, the team won the prestigious Chairman's Award, which puts them in a good position for this weekend at State. So yeah, so the Chairman's Award is um, the most prestigious award in first, and, um, and there are three district events, and if you win Chairman's at one of those then you, uh, events, you get to qualify for State to present Chairman's at State. So there's only three Chairman's teams at State. Good luck to the team as they compete at State this weekend. Thanks, Carter. And now let's head to Kelsey with our sports report for today. Boys Golf won their season opener against Plainfield 155-170 to with Sam Jean and Noah Gillard as co-medalists. Girls tennis was also victorious Tuesday night against North Central, taking the match 4-1. Softball continued their undefeated run this week with a win against Carmel 11-1. Baseball split their home-and-home -home series with Carmel winning 9-5 on Tuesday night, then falling 14-4 on Wednesday. That's all we have for you today, CG. Stay tuned for your general announcements and upcoming sporting events.